three, two, one. Girl, Madam Money, aka Trap, 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 and welcome to the official Sony Game Rising album review of I Am God's Internal Reflection. Make sure you hit that like button, make sure you hit that subscribe button, and let's get it. Big shout out to I Am God. He is, oh my gosh, he like totally took me by surprise when he did the MF Doom Sick Fit Challenge. Salute to you for us, you know, just showing our appreciation for Doom on that one. So when I'm Got my hands on this project. Trust me, I ain't even gonna front. Like, this is about the third time me actually recording this. And I don't go all out for nobody. I don't do that for anybody. But this right here from I Am God was really, 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 really dope to me. Um, This is also executive produced by Custom Made. I think that's really, really fly when, you know, just a, a one artist locks in with a producer and do what they have to do on here. Now, the cover artwork on here is something that is really really impactful i don't know a lot of y'all might not be familiar with the image of um yummy shafer i don't want to pronounce his name wrong um sand fear sorry yummy sand sand fear and um tupac had did an interview when he was incarcerated with a picture of yummy um behind him but yummy was an 11 year old a kid that had got executed by gang members in Chicago. That was his hometown and stuff. But Yummy's life had been, you know, just, uh, it's just like a, a tumultuous thing that just, you know, showed the depravity and stuff that's, that our youth goes through in all the ghettos across America. It's crazy because when I seen this picture of Yummy, I am God using this picture of Yummy, it reminded me, uh, you know, I've been around, I've been in the game a little while and stuff like that, but I have wrote an article comparing Tay K to Yummy Shanf Sanfear. So, you know, really, really just impactful stuff, dope stuff. If you're not familiar with Yummy, like, please go look it up. You feel me? Also, too, look up Tupac's interview with him in the background because it's really, really just informative stuff about the inner workings of the ghetto you feel me but this was a really really dope 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 project it starts off a king k-y-n-g speaks um kendall green is speaking on here and he's speaking towards the conditions of um how we treat our youth in the community and how parents are not focused on their kids in the community anymore you know everybody's in the social media and you're so into your phone you don't even see our kids wandering off and all of these things i thought that was a really really just impactful piece um, to start this whole project off. Another, well, the next track on here is From Chicago with Hate, featuring Fillmore Green and um, Scooter Chose. Now, Fillmore Green, he just dropped a project as well, too. I don't have, um, I, don't, I think it's called Knowledge and Power. I don't want to misquote it on that, but make sure you check that out, too, because this is just, like, just Chicago with Hate. And on this track they are like setting the scene of chicago you feel me and just telling you the truth about where they're from and the streets and how everything actually works where they're from this this is like really really like chicago based and i believe that was i am god's like whole point in doing this was just to show where he's from and how these things you know haven't changed at all since you know the time when yummy was was around it all the youth are still going through some of the most you know dangerous situations it can't even really like grow up and be kids um next track on here food for thought and this is like a mafioso beat custom um made you know he's he's setting the real tone on here too i don't want to forget about the beats on here because they are really really dope and we'll get into a couple more of them as we go along um you hear the same song long enough, you learn the lyrics. And that's something I say all the time. That's a um, a bar from him on there. You know, it doesn't even matter if you like the song or not. If you hear this, a song long enough, like, you know the lyrics and you start experiencing that and these type of things and conditions become okay because you're listening to this stuff over and over again. And just like that reinforcement that we really need to step up and try to change things, you know, when it comes down to what is being pushed out there for the youth to listen to. Um, I don't fuck with religion. It's me. I believe in, and just, just like these, just reinforce the things he calls himself. I am God. So really, really just dope stuff on here. Like, 
Uh, this ends off with Kendall Green from the first track on here, speaking about gang violence in their community and, and stuff with the different gangs and everything like that. Really, really dope things going on here. Um, next track on here, different breed featuring uh, Mr. Akrete. I'm sorry if I'm saying it wrong. This is a running beat on here. I like this. I'm Candyman burning down, burning down potato on the muzzle. On the muzzle turn niggas sweet as candy yams. And like, you know, I am God. He's showing you he had this violent side to him that is unequivocally because of his environment. But he also shows you as we move along that he has wordplay and he, uh, you know, his delivery is unequivocally Chicago. He takes the time out to spit slow, but he goes right into that, you know, quintessential Chicago flow of just spitting fast. And you understand everything he says. I really, really did appreciate that a lot on here. Um, next track on here, Murder Shit. And again, like I said, he's showing off his flow on this. And it's just 3 minutes and 38 seconds of him just spitting. You feel me? Just spitting. Still a G, but not gangbanging these days. And, and like, he's just letting you know about himself and how he's changed and how he's evolved coming out of these conditions. Next track on here is called Ghost of... Uh, Cavalier Mitchell, and I'm sorry, I don't know who Cavalier Mitchell is, I am God, you gotta inform me, let me know what, what was the importance on here, but I believe this was the first single um, that I am God used to promo this, uh, this particular album, so it was coming off really, really good, and again, like, he's showing off his fast flow, and then when you think that you, un like, you're into his fast flow, he goes even faster on these tracks, really, really just like so Chicago, I'm spitting like I'm possessed, and he's letting you know that this is something that he could fall into, I like when a artist shows off their fucking lyrical proudness, and that means what you can do on a mic. Really, really dope stuff here. Next track on here, Real Nigga Interlude. And it's it's like a real interlude. And this guy's talking. And they're talking about the GDs versus BDs in the area. You feel me? And it's a man on there. And he said, you know, some of you niggas deserve to die. Some of you niggas deserve to die for how y'all move in the community. And what y'all put in the community. And what y'all doing. Stuff like that. Really, really just impactful stuff. And it just shows, like, how we're looking at each other in the wrong way. Which we should be more loving and understanding with each other. And not have to just result to, you know, all this, you know, gun violence, really. You feel me? Because sometimes you got to slap a nigga up to let them understand what's going on. But, you know, everybody don't need to be taken off of the earth just because of small offenses and that's the type of thing going on here but my man on here said that some of y'all do deserve to die because y'all put in this type of poisons and stuff in the community and i felt everything he said on that uh next track on here good die young featuring featuring xavier west and i'm gonna tell you when i heard this i almost shed a tear you feel me? Because it starts off with I Am God in a storytelling track about retaliation. Something was done and, you know, they're going to retaliate and they actually do like a like a drive-by on a bus stop. And then this kid comes on and he is rapping. And um, when, like, this is um, I Am God's son on this track. When you hear this track, it is so fucking amazing because this kid is spinning. His delivery is on fire and he's telling you the perspective of his hopes and dreams and it's like why he's laying on the ground dying because of somebody's stupid ass bullshit retaliation that they want to do and spray the, a, a bus out with innocent people on there. Like this really was playing into that to the whole image of Yummy and how, you know, these things just just follow us in the community and we do not have to act like that towards each other. That right there, this is a standout track. And this actually shows I Am God's, like, his, you know, creative, like, his creativity. And he's willing to take it in and stuff like that. When I say I was moved, I don't get moved by tracks. Like, I don't cry. I don't do none of that shit. You already know that. But this right here, once it once it hit me what was happening and just the shock value of having, uh, you know, this young kid out there telling you his hopes and dreams, all the same hopes and dreams of thousand kids in the inner communities, um, in the inner city communities and stuff like that have but can't flourish because of somebody's stupid ass gun violence. 
just it was like really 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 just impactful that's the word right there next track on here is called chosen featuring um olive blue and britney carter shout out to britney carter on here she dropped as i am earlier this year that review is on the channel really really dope artist um and this is like a motivational track i really like this it was it's a real like um dope piano we beat on here as well really really just just fly stuff i'm gonna tell you like the the production on here is like really really solid it doesn't jump all over the place it gives you this real just scope of everything and it plays into the platform really well so salute to um custom made again on um just production on here and Brittany, she talks about her writing abilities and her skills and that's how she you know stayed out of trouble and that's how she you know reclused herself and not to be involved in the street because she had an outlet to deal with and everything like that and a lot of kids don't have that outlet they don't have that guidance and they don't have that self-awareness to do that type of thing so really really just dope stuff you feel me um next track on here theme music to to life's ills you know uh <laughs> theme music to life's ills you know i talk about life's ills and i put it down type real you feel me just that always just gonna play to my mind so somebody says that but he talks about everything <laughs> That's wrong. You want to talk about creativity in a track? He talks about everything that's wrong in 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 the community, outside the community, the forces that's against the community. Like he talks about, you know, uh, police brutality, uh, politics, drug use um, uh, amongst the youth. You feel me? Girls and plastic surgery, medical malpractices. You feel me? Some nigga died on on King Drive, but it wasn't freedom shots. From it wasn't freedom shots. It was the heat, heat of that rung. Like you know, it wasn't freedom that rung, but it, it was the heat of that rung. And I really did appreciate just the creativity involved like that. When I say like every every topic was touched, it definitely was on there. Really, really dope stuff. Um, next on, track on here is a Queen speaks with Athena Clark, and this is just like a community outcry. Like you know, she's really, really just uh, uh talking about how to be like how we need to be stronger in the community and stuff and it's like yo when it comes down to projects like this it's really really dope to see somebody with the confidence to put forth a project like this and just let it be like for real though y'all really really do need to listen to this album i believe it's just on Bandcamp. you feel me you gotta follow my guy i am god g-a-w-d you feel me because it is really really just a dope dope project next um uh, track on here bottle full of liquor and the first 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 one here is about child support and how you know the system is built to built up against males that might be trying to do their thing and everything like that and then you know how you know he's putting his sorrow into liquor you feel me next track the next um verse on there is like um him having problems with his family and he goes just to you know chill with his friends and all of these things like that all the while they know something is wrong with him because he don't really like participate in being like drinking and everything but everything is just weighing down on him so much he got a bottle full of liquor i really did like that um last track on here the ghost of cavalier mitchell um it's the Raw Nash remix. And that was really fly, too. I like when people just put remixes of their own stuff on a project as well. Just so you could see how things sound in different, like, you know, sonic elements and everything like that. Hey, y'all, I'm going to tell you, this shit was really, really tough. Like, I don't have no other way to put it but to just say, like, this shit was really, really dope. Like, like I said, just something so conscious, but it's not overly preachy at the same time because he has his moments on here where he lets you know like he's about that life like you feel me you if you want to jump he gonna jump with you yeah you feel me but all in all like he really really wishes to see change for his community and everything like that i really really appreciate this motherfucking project i can't even say nothing else about it and it's crazy because you know, when I go to listen to projects and stuff, it is hard for me to be impressed because it's always something to find wrong, always something that's always not EQ right, always not this, always not that, or the beats ain't creative enough or nothing like that. But nah, all in all, this project for, for the impact value of these tracks and how focused and concise that this project is, 
the eternal reflection man i'm telling you i gotta check it out so if y'all heard it make sure y'all um put your favorite track in the comments below if y'all haven't heard it please 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 like listen like hit me up i will give you the link just so you can listen to it or whatever have you if you can't find it or whatever but this right here this is really really dope stuff coming from i am god and custom made but i'm about to get out of here i'm mad of money you can follow me on twitter and ig at mad money says that's m-a-d-a-m-m-o-n-e-y-s-a-y-s and as always i'll be seeing you guys around peace I'm flooding the market, a break from the garbage An artist, sensitive about mind and pardon No margin for error, flawless beware The black cat goddess, you walking with a panther Painting these pictures with words like Samantha MacGyver Alchemy on the track, make it lava And I won't stop rocking till I retire Singular or plural, she make numero uno Colder than Juno